Hello everyone. Some say that large pockets of Latin America are slowly becoming Protestant. You have these evangelical pastors coming down from the United States with stacks of money. They preach a sort of prosperity gospel with salvation in the here and now, buying people into their congregations. Because the people are so poor, this prosperity gospel is something they can't resist. They're told that being a good Christian and financial success in life go together. But we all know that's a corruption of the gospel message in the long run. Now I think that something similar is happening in the gospel today. After they had all the bread they wanted to eat, the people flocked after Jesus and wanted to crown him king on the spot. But Jesus saw the danger and he was having none of it, so he escaped into the hills by himself. Their motives for following him were a bit dubious, a bit like the situation in Latin America today. Later on, when the furore died down, Jesus confronts the people again and tells them, You're only following me because you had all the bread you wanted to eat. And then he goes on, Labour not for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life. Of course he was talking here about himself. He is the bread of life, whom we receive in Holy Communion. Receiving Jesus in Holy Communion is primarily about preparing us for eternal life, not worldly fulfilment or satisfaction. Compared to eternity, this life is so short, only like a grain of sand on the seashore or a drop of water in the ocean. Heaven is our true homeland, and we need to keep our eyes fixed on that goal if we're ever to get there. Pampering ourselves with the things which this world has to offer will ultimately fail to deliver, whereas Jesus says, he who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. I believe there is an existential longing in all of us for a deeper meaning to life. A real sense of belonging and self-worth. An acceptance of who we are. A craving for pardon and forgiveness. Ultimately, a yearning for love without which life is bereft of meaning. If people have distanced themselves from the Church, particularly the Eucharist, are they not in danger of going hungry spiritually? Yes, there are people who have the trappings of a religion. You only see them in Church for baptisms, funerals and weddings, and maybe the odd Christmas for nostalgic reasons. That is hardly going to nourish their spiritual side or prepare them for eternal life. That sounds a bit like the people in today's gospel who follow Jesus only when it suited them. Mere physical presence at Mass does not guarantee that we are being satisfied spiritually either. For instance, if we never take the time to examine our consciences, or haven't confessed our sins for ages, then receiving our Lord in Holy Communion will leave a lot to be desired. So, we have a lot to reflect on in today's Gospel, the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Therein lies much food for thought to nourish our souls. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.